Hello cricketers, my name's Dan and I've never scored 100. I've been playing cricket since 2007 and according to Play Cricket, I've played 257 games, which well, it's slightly less than what I thought actually. And it's fairly well known that bowling isn't my strong point. And as a batter, I use that term loosely, scoring your first 100 has to be the ultimate goal as a cricketer, to tick that box, to get that monkey off your back. No matter what standard you play, no matter what division, no matter what level, no matter what country, to score your first 100 has got to be one of the best feelings in cricket, which as I said, I've yet to experience. I began playing cricket back in 2006 actually, so after the heroics of 2005. I mean, who couldn't fall in love with that sport after that amazing series? Those characters in that test series with Ponting and Warren and Flintoff, Peterson, um, all of those guys. I mean, my brother even ended up with a blonde streak through his hair, like Kevin, and I don't even think he could spell cricket at that point, so I'm not quite sure how that happened. And during that series, well, I was meant to be revising for my GCSEs, which, I mean, could explain why I'm making these videos and not some highly paid professional somewhere in London or Dubai or, or anything like that. But, but, I mean, I couldn't be happier. I have scored 2,581 runs at, well, quite frankly, an embarrassingly low average of 10, maybe slightly higher if there was a not out here or there. I've scored two fifties, my highest score of which came last summer of 65 and quite impressive, I've recorded 42 ducks as well. And I've probably played a few more games that aren't actually on the website. So you could maybe add, I don't know, half a dozen more runs and possibly another couple of ducks on that tally as well. And with all those numbers, I genuinely believe it's okay because there is not much I enjoy more than spending a sunny Saturday or a sunny Sunday in the UK. And yeah, it does sometimes stop raining here. Today's not raining, still not sunny though. Um, anyway, there's no better way for me to spend a day than with my mates in the sunshine, playing cricket, playing the sport that I love, talking about the sport that I love, socializing with them afterwards. So it's not all about numbers, although that's the whole point of this video in this series. And, and I'm still clinging on to some hope as well because, because those numbers are slowly, slowly improving. As I said, my high score came last summer. So I'm on, I'm on a, mm -mm, hang on. On a upward, upward slope, I just need it to kind of go like that this year. On this channel, during this season, this journey, this series, I'm gonna take you along for the story of hopefully me trying to score my first 100. That's gonna include matches, so yep, I'm definitely gonna to have to wear the GoPro again. I'm gonna be bringing this camera with me to places. I wanna try and play as many games as possible, coaching sessions as well with people like Hinders at Serious Cricket, with professional cricketers, um, anybody really that, that will help my game, both mentally, both skillfully, all of those things combined in order to try and get me over the line to score that first 100. And if you're watching this and you think, oh, Dan, I can help, please reach out. If you're a coach, if you have any insight, if you have a game opportunity, um, anything like that, please, please reach out to me and I would love to collaborate with as many people as possible, play as many games as possible, meet as many people and really try and showcase not only my story but also the sport that I fell in love with in 2005. Um, one thing you can't score 100 without though is a cricket bat. And Mike at World Class Willow has been kind enough to sort me out for this summer with a bat, pads, gloves, all of the good stuff that you need to be able to, to tick this box to score your first 100. So let's go to Somerset and let's go and get some stash. I did also just put milk on the cereal. I'm not a complete psychopath. What on earth is going on here? 181 for three and Jai spells 104 not out. So we've got this one to take, which... Um... It's an absolute belter, just needs, um, but it's been well used, as you can see. Needs a bit of TLC on it. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's just get going. It says two hours and 38 minutes, 137 miles. Could get there about 10 past 11. Oh, Stonehenge. Oh, it's if I read a signpost half a mile back up the road to tell me the Stonehenge was, was turning up, I've never really understood that, to be honest. 
That was fun. Oh, world class willow for world class batters. And by me. This one needs, it needs a bit of love in it, this one. It needs a bit of TLC. <laughs> I think it's okay. There's a little bit of like, there's a few bits and bobs as, a few, you, can, a few. as you can see. But it, Talk me through this one. Uh, well, it's probably going to be quite similar to what's under here. <laughs> hey, the cherries are in the right place. That's yeah, the main yeah, thing. That's the main thing. Is it still? Oh. Still got loads of runs on that there. Did it ever go through the gauge? Or just? If I can have a bit of TLC on that, that would be... Definitely. Uh, basically, what my idea is for this kind of series of videos is yep. I've never scored 100, which I can see by the, by the shock on your face. That you I just got, got, yeah, so to make you a bat that will score your runs, Pretty basically. Much, yeah, 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 please, yeah, we do that every day, yeah, no, that's sure fine. Do, yeah. <laughs> shaping them like this, shall we? Let's find a nice sharp one. Hang on, let me just give it a little tickle. <laughs> what I would just like to say is probably a question you know, when I have it's got on. It's confidence. Confidence more than anything in the, yeah. in the bit of a kit that you've got in your hands. You can look down at the bat and it looks massive and fills you with confidence yeah. instantly, doesn't it? When you're having a bat handmade, it makes a huge difference. You can work with the bat maker, what you like, what you don't like, and you can look at where you've been hitting balls. <laughs> I can't put more wood behind the stickers, no, 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 but... <laughs> You've got a lot of cherry marks up here, higher up on the bat, so yeah. you're playing on the up quite a lot. And maybe some of the wickets that you're playing on are a little bit bouncier, but yeah, more wood in it, the better. <laughs> Lovely background, but there is this, this one here that's... That thing. <laughs> the Lewis Gregory special. <laughs> Lewis uses his bats until he breaks. He loves yeah, them. I mean, he's, yeah. he's a joy to make for, to it's be honest. Like from pretty much top to bottom. That yeah. One. I reckon that bit of string at the bottom there is the only thing that's holding that together. <laughs> it, it is exactly that. that so this is exactly the same setup as your current one. Yep. Half inch shorter blade, half inch longer handle. 12 piece handle in it as well. It was a slightly shorter blade and a slightly longer. Oh, there you have it. Well, now you know. So we're going to have a sweepstake this year about you scoring 100. Pound for? Pound, yeah. 29 this year. Pounds here. <laughs> I'm running out of excuses not to score 100. I have to say. <laughs> right, refurb time. Refurb time. Warming up. There's a little surface crack there. You've caught one just on the edge. The good news is though, it's looking good. That looks all right. Up there. Looking good. And that going back to um, so when we take this off and we then resand it, we're probably going to lose about an ounce. So your back's going to be about an ounce. Um, probably go down. To, so it was two ten and a half. I reckon it will finish at about two nine and a half after a refurb. Just talk us through this cherry on the toe guard there. Um, probably one that didn't bounce. Oh, That's digging out the orca would have been the logical answer. This, Dan. That looks... That looks it. great, Nick. All right, hang on. We're getting close to the inside edge. Let's go careful. Let's go careful. Blimey. But we're still alive. We're still alive. We're still in great Nick, to be fair. This is going to look brand new again. Look at it. And just put some it down that little edge. That's where it's delaminating. Good as new. Nearly. There you go. <laughs> you gotta always get that in. Okay. Well, that's silky shiny smooth. And fresh. Look at the shine on it as well. Beauty. I think they look insanely good. They do, don't they? Those are my favourite for this year. Lovely job. 295. 295. So We're good, lost, aren't we? Uh, it's lost an ounce. Yeah. New year, new me, and all those other cliches. Oh. Huge. Can I look back? No. no. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Pretty gloves. And the good old pads. Players' pads. Proper. So good. Happy? Thank you very much. No worries. Wallet, phone compartment, your two bats in there. Yeah. Massive side pocket, drinks cooler bottle, Lovely. another pocket on the side, another big 
pocket on the side. Spikes, separate compartment, big clothing department, wash kit. And then a fully opened, huge. That is a, yeah. Lovely. Pads, gloves, bats, bags, more pads and gloves. And as I said to Mike, he hasn't got any talent that in stock, so otherwise, <laughs> otherwise I'd need some of that. But I think, I think that's pretty much all I'm gonna need. Let's go off and score this one here, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah, just talent now, mate. Yeah, talent. I, I've got plans for that, don't worry. I've got plans for that. <laughs>